baseball fans, and welcome. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Miami Marlins taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. Thanks for joining us here. And a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -to -head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up, then regardless, you're looking to bury that other club because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. Just about ready to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, Carlos Rodon. Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. So just about set and at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. Leading off tonight for Miami, the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And here it comes. That one's in there. And this one is off and running. And the 0-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab, nice play after the long run. One away, and time now for the Marlins lineup. Hoping for a good showing in this one from their cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Just a lot of inconsistent at-bats from him lately, and that's led to only five hits in his last 10 games. You know he's feeling it. Those hitless nights, man, they can be hard to sleep, but I've heard he is putting in extra time in the cage, trying to right the ship, so I'm interested to see how he looks at the plate in this one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Harper racing over to make the catch. Batting third, the right fielder, number 14, Abisail, Abisail Garcia Garcia up to the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Good nope. eye right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And one, two, three go the Marlins. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. You don't understand the grand scheme of this battle raps. Bottom of the first. And today's starter, six no Sanchez. What do we have on him? A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. Bottom of the first. Gene Segura at the plate here. Leading up for the Phillies. The second baseman. Gene. And the pitch. And yeah, there's a ball. Ball one, no play. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. In the air, right side. Garcia settles underneath it, squeezes it, and there's one down. Batting second. And time now for the Phillies lineup. 
in the sixth spot for them in this one, Kyle Schwarber. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting in a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Here's Chris Bryant now, having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Out to short. Fires across the diamond. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Batting third. The right fielder. Bryce Harper. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Bryce Harper. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And another ball. 2-0. That one fouled off. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. And now the count filled up three and two. a laser base hit and that keeps the inning alive the throw into second got it time it's a double yeah that's all pretty routine and that's one of the things i remember talking with one of the best in the business in terms of working with infielders ron washington who is actually with the atlanta braves but he's you know, been the skipper of the rangers and infield coach with the oakland a's but he talked about the shift and although it may be balls hit right at guys the footwork and positioning once they get the ball can still be a real challenge Harper on its second with two down and there's a foul ball here comes a pitch and that one fouled off. And now the count is even. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And on second, two down. We got full count. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Back to right. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, scoreless after one. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now here's the veteran DH, Jesus Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar. Pitch. 
Ball one there. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? The pitch. Three balls, no strike. There's the strike. Pitch. In for a strike. That is strike two. At the belt and fires. And he walked him. Leading off for the moment. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Garrett Cooper. Pitch downstairs. One and oh. And now the lefty. There's a strike. Next offering is down low. Two and one. Second inning here, no score. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stay out of that double play. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Jazz that Chisholm is now. The second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Slider misses outside. Kicks and fires. And a big swing and a miss. Left hand batter waits. And now two and two. No score here in the second. Got him. Back to back strikeouts. Well, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Jesus Sanchez getting ready to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand hitter waits. There's the strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And a pitch. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. To the right side. Hoskins oh. takes it to the bag, and that'll do it. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing.
Bottom half of inning number two. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Zinni, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Swing and a miss, strike one. Next pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. And the right-hander deals. Swings through that one. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plane. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. You know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Kyle Schwarber, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. There's a swing and a drive. That one back. And that's baby stop. Kyle Schwarber goes deep. His 28th home run of the season. It's one nothing. This guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Batting seven, the first baseman. Three. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. That's the next offering through. misses. And a count two and one. The wind and the pitch. And it's filled up. Four count. Three and two. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that one hops the wall. And in the second with one away, that's a double. One out, runner at second. Here's Trevor Storm. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. In there for strike one.
Hoskins leads off second with one gone in the inning. Bounce to third. Anderson handles the chance to first, and Story is out. Batting nine, the catcher, JT Real Muto. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And the first no, offering no. is not close. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. So now one and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split-finger fastball instead of just weak contact. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. So the Phillies strike first for the solo home run. It's an early one nothing lead. You can never be like me. Yeah, I push until I bleed. And I keep it so 100, not afraid to Back here at the ballpark, Jacob Stallings now. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And the pitch. Really good athlete. And many times you talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. And he deals. That one's spoiled, and they count now two and one. pitch swing and a miss as he was out front that time and here it comes swing and a miss struck him out and that's the first out Ryan Anderson the next to hit Ryan Anderson first pitch and that's in for a strike Next offering down in the dirt. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball. Ground ball right side and foul ball. The one two. Oh, that's low. Yeah, that's Who outside. The pitch. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. The center Here's the center fielder, Ryan, Ryan De La Cruz. De La Cruz. <laughs> and he swings and misses at the initial offering. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And one and two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Oh 
Next pitch misses way outside. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone. Full count now. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. pitch and fouled off next offering is fouled back Fought off foul. The pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's gonna have to buckle down right here. And yeah, now the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. He's over one. in there for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Pulls that one foul. Anderson, the lead runner at second. Dela Cruz over at first and one away. Line and a base hit into right. Here comes the runner. Here's the throw to the plate. Slides yeah. in. We're tied at one. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Runners at the corners here, one away. Here's a speed threat, Abasayu Garcia. First offering, misses the mark. Two on, one out. Pitch misses, and now two and oh. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that one is lifted in the air. Jordan settles under this one. He's got it. Here comes the runner from third. The relay. Not in time. He scores. It's 2-1. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job yeah, done. The designated hitter. He's RBI. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. That one's in there on one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. And a pitch. Now one, one miss. One. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next offering is foul back. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good reload. Stays alive. And now the lefty. This one to Bryant. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. Out number three. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Marlins two and the Phillies one.
and welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Gene Segura. For the Phillies. Oh, after put up a baseman. nice inning on offense, Gee. got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Up the middle, Chisholm collects on the run, sends it over to first, Segura out the play. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball, and now then managed. even more impressive is the throw. Off balance, Good. had to try to end the well, air, man. get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Chris Bryant pops one out in here. His 32nd of the year. And we're level. It's 2-2. Ziggy, that's his 199th career home run. Well, 200 homers is an exciting number for anyone to get to. He's got to be looking forward to that next one a lot. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power. And then you can jog around the bases like he did right there. And now, here is Harper. One of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Harper. Part of the order coming what through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Ready? Next offering is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. And downstairs. Is Harper the count two and one? Called strike right there. One down, base is empty. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three-two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his the career Phillies. since Number day one. Five. Brandon Jordan Brandon. stands in for the Phillies. Oh, yeah. Jordan, one of the elite home run hitters in the league this year. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Harper leads off first with one away. That's a strike. Strike one. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And it is 2-1. And a pitch. Ah. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two two. Ground ball to the right side, and it's through for a hit. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scored position, and just one out. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Siggy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. 
Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't. And this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row. And that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Swings through that one. 0-1. Kicks and fires. Smoked on the ground a second. In plenty of time for first. Now two away as they get a run across. I expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. He's already homer here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs with a runner at third. Next pitch misses, two and oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Rio down. Swings through that one for strike one. So now two on and two outs. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick three pass. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Hoping to lock up the home run title down the stretch. He leads the lead right now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering is in for a strike. So now one and two to Reese. Swing and a little roller right side. Cooper takes it himself, and that is that. On to inning number four. It's the Phillies three and the Marlins two. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And Leading set off to lead the off the fourth, Garrett the Cooper. Baseman, Garrett. Cooper. The pitch. Way high. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Pitch has popped up. Makes the grab. And yeah, there's one away. The batter number two. Second base. Jazz Chisholm. So digging in. Jazz Chisholm. We talk about guys with good speed. And definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 0-1. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious.
Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Marlins, Jesus Sanchez. First off, bring it just misses. The lefty to 1 0. Now 1 to 1. Inside just missed. And that one fouled off. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Miami down in order. They trail it 3-2. Ready to go, bottom four. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Trevor Story. Not shortstop, Trevor. Sanchez, back to work. Now with the shift on, hits right into it. And Story is out. Up next for Philadelphia, the catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. Swing and a ground ball out to short. The throw to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got two. inside on him and got him Second to bounce into that two. out. It's so important to go one, two, three here. It would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Gene Segura stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next one misses, two balls, no strikes. And a strike in there. Next offering way off the plate. And a swing and a miss. Here comes a 3-2. Line drive. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Billy's down in order. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Here in Philadelphia, we go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Jacob Stallings. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And a pitch. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Two up. Got a good eye there. Here's a 3-0. -oh. 
right through there for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we were expecting performance-wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with Pretty control. No outs. Runner at first. Ryan Anderson, the next up for the Marlins. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Yo one. And that one almost got him. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Calls it in for the out. Now battle, the center field, Ryan De La Cruz. And now the center fielder, Ryan De La Cruz. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Falling behind two and one. Stolen. Over at first with one away. Next offering misses. Now three and one. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. That one to first. Knocks it down. Hoskins over to second to first not in time great effort there well that was going to be a really tough one to turn two on so a nice job to get the out at second right there hold on to the baseball shortstop clearly paid the price but that kind of comes with the territory Miguel Rojas at the plate and the first pitch misses for ball one Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Real Muto throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Throw to second. Save. pitch swing and a miss and he got him to chase man it's second little bouncer out in front of the plate whips it to first on the run that's out number three Marlins lead one they're down three to two
back at Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Down go. the third what base, Billy. Chris Bryan. The third base. His next home run will be the Red. 200th in his career. Bryan. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. The wind of the pitch. Hit hard, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. The That's right a good Number sound three. coming off the bat, man. Five. And as he connected out front, lifted into the Four outfield, four. that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Bryce Harper to the plate. Nope. Next pitch downstairs, and yeah, that's ball one. Righty to the plate. 2-0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Swing and a miss. Now 2-1. Two two one. Good 2-0 changeup right there. I mean, as a hitter, you have it in the back of your mind, but you have to sit fastball. And based on the swing, you got to think that's what he saw to the hand. And the 3-1. Tapped out front of the plate. Over to Cooper. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The center fielder, number 25. Brandon Jordan. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Fouled off. He was late. Righty delivers. Action in the pen down there. Jordan Holloway getting loose out there. Bass getting loose as well. Next offering in the dirt. And it's one and two. And the pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and was able to stay close. Number four. Yeah. So up next, Nick Cano. Castellanos. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get oh. swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And the righty deals. On the ground, out to short. Rojas with the throw to first. That's the third out, inning over. Phillies strand one, they still lead it 3-2. Righty reliever out of the pen, Kyle Gibson. He's pitching on two days rest. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The right field the pitch. Garcia lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. The 1-0. Garcia gets a piece. The wind of the pitch. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Sam Kunra appears to be getting loose. Brogdon getting cranked up as well. It's 
swings and misses. It's two and two. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's three and two. And he deals. On the ground, Segura picks it up. Garcia gone on the play. Now that designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. Jesus Aguilar, the next up for the Marlins. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and attack with it rolls foul. The wind and the pitch. Off the mark there. One and two to count. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swing and a bouncer. Story picks it up, throws oh. to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Two outs, bases empty. At the play, Garrett Cooper. First pitch, just misses. Kicks and fires. Just off the outside part of the plate. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Two outs. Now one out to right. Harper makes the catch. And that'll do it. Six, seven, eight, two at the bottom of the sixth. It's the Phillies three and the Marlins two. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Jordan Holloway. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 78, Jordan Holloway. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. And a swing to miss. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Lewis Head getting ready to go. The 1. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. I think he was sitting off speed there. Right-handed reliever. And it's fouled away. And the right-hander deals. All one. Way inside, gets out of the way. The wide to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. Three two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very pretty. 
The first Reese baseman. Hoskins stands Reese. in for the Phillies. Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next pitch yep, is outside, out. and it's one and one. And now one and two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, yeah, but most of the good oh, ones good have both vertical depth oh, and that horizontal movement, and that's oh, what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. First offering, misses the mark. And a pitch. On the ground, two ball. Over to Chisholm. There's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. We're through six full. It's the Phillies three and the Marlins two. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. And at the plate for Miami, for Jazz Miami. Chisholm. The second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. Gibson back to work. Liner, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Up next to the New Marlins. pitcher on now, Bailey Falter. He last pitched two days ago. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 70. Bailey. So digging in, Jesus Sanchez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The next pitch misses. And the count even, one and one. At the belt and fire. That's inside. Throw to first, and he's back in safely. Left-hand batter waits. Strike two. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track runner at first with no outs here next offering is down low so here we go base runner at first could be running on the pitch he's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position even if it's a swing and miss at the plate Check on the runner, Chisholm, back in standing. Another throw over, and yeah, they're keeping him close. And now the lefty. Laser, base hit. 
and that gets all the way to the wall. Jazz on his horse coming around third. He scores to tie it up. It's three all. Well done, drives in the run. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Go ahead, run on base, and here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss as he was late. Okay. And a foul ball, he stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well, late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. Let's see if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. The pitch. Got it! And that is a big first out. Here's the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. You walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Swing and he popped it up. Story under it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. So well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Stepping in, Brian De La Cruz. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Two down, go ahead run at scoring position. And there's a ball. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open, he can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Two up. Slapped foul. The next offering misses. They're now three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And on second, two down. And ball four to a board. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to is just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And up next for Miami, Miguel Rojas. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. In there for strike one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We're tied now with three apiece. Bottom of the inning, and now it is JT Real Muto for the Phillies. The catcher, JT Real Muto. The right hander back to work. And a foul ball. D 
the 0 1. Ball one there. The 1 1. And a foul ball. Started after it, appeal to first. No swing, Gary Simmons with the call. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. That's that classic wipeout slider Nobody. below the zone Nobody. right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you. It kind of makes you look silly. So up next, Gene Segura for the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. In the air, center field. Dela Cruz makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting, third baseman, Chris. Chris Bryant will hit next. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. First pitch, not close. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. offering his foul back. The pitch. Stays alive. Two two now. Brian started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and that's will the swing. It's a strikeout. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Still tied, three and three. A new arm into the game, the right, Sam Kunra. Hey, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Top of the eighth, and now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Abasayo Garcia. Here comes a pitch. Good eye right there. And here it comes. On the corner for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. That's a really good take. And now it's filled up. Payoff pitch, and he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And next is the designated hitter, Jesus Aguilar. First off, bring an adjust misses. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And the 1-0. -oh. 
The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Check swing went around. 2-2. Righty to the plate. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Garcia on at first. Nobody out. And that's ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the oh, second time Marlins. he's taken ball four. The first base Garrett ball. Cooper, Garrett. the next up for the Marlins. This is what standards like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Look out! And it hit him. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner and I'm sure starting to feel the pressure right now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Now it's the second baseman. Jazz Chisholm. One for three. Foul ball there. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. one down. Next offering misses down and away. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. And another ball. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Huge strikeout there. So he needed a strikeout there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Okay. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed one. And now Jesus Sanchez. Next offering is in for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And what fouled off. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Schwarber makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. The throw is off line and he's in to score. It's 4-3. Well, this is a big at bat right here. Nice sack fly to give his team the lead in these late innings. So first and second with two outs. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stones. A strikeout and a walk. This to third. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Marlins four and the Phillies three. New pitcher for the Marlins, Anthony Bender. And he'll work on holding this lead. Number 80.
Anthony Bender. Welcome back out of the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. The Phillies, the right field. Oh. And the pitch. Harper. The other way, and he beats the shift. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results now he's been bad. having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Yeah, yeah. Just a simple ground ball yeah, yeah. the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. No outs, runner at first. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. First offering misses badly for ball one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Now moves first. Harper's back in a dive. Next pitch misses inside, and the count is 2 0. Harper aboard here at first with nobody out. And a foul ball makes the count 2 and 1. Righty delivers. Foul ball. The 2-2 two -two now. Little dribbler up along third. Now that the designated hitter. Nick. Tough day. No, no. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Next nope, offering is down low. 1-0. Oh. Oh. Not the best oh. swing that time from the first round pick. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Now a screamer into the outfield. And there's one away. Now batting, left fielder, Kyle. Kyle Schwarber comes Schwarber. up to hit here. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. On the ground, could be two. Chisholm, toss the second, on to Cooper, and it's a double play. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Connor Brock takes over on the mound. It's his job to keep his team Number in the game. Back here in Philadelphia, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now, here is Ryan Anderson. Ryan Anderson. And a pitch. There's a the strike. And the old one. Oh, man. And this is inside. And the righty deals. 
just missed. Right hander kicks deals. Out towards left center. Jordan ranging to his right. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Now that the center fielder. Here's the Ryan. center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Hit on the ground to the right side. He steps on the bag. Now one gone in the ninth. Miguel Rojas digs in now. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. Here's the sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It'll be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Here's your one. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. And ball one. One and two here. Bounce to the right side, and that's just foul. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Down and in. And yeah, the right hander deals. And yeah, there's ball four. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. Will? The right fielder. Abbasani. Garcia. So one out with two aboard. And now for the Marlins, Abasayu Garcia. First pitch, and he just misses. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And Garcia gets a piece. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Next to hit, Jesus Aguilar. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get there. Base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and they lead by two. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. First and second, two down. And yeah, the batter now, Garrett Cooper. And that's in there for strike one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. 
back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a pitch. Here's a high chopper. Bryant picks it up, zips it to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 5-3. Dylan Flora into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Dylan Flora. And welcome back. So bottom of the ninth, and digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, the pitch. Hoskins. He's a strike. Got the back going too soon in strike two. And he deals. Just missed. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Here's Trevor Story now. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. Right-handed reliever. And now just two outs away. And now it's even up. On a line, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. Don't get ahead in the count. You can forget about having any success against him. All season long, he's racked off a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. over the first story back easily back over to first and he's back again and a pitch and takes low for ball one Now two and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. 
Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. And first offering is fouled off. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Right side, hard hit. Throw to first is in time, and that'll do it. The Marlins take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they 